General Electric said on Sunday it has agreed to buy John Woods Group well support business for 2.8 billion US dollars as it hopes to bolster its unconventional oil and gas production services. The deal is the latest by GE in the energy sector and the conglomerate builds out its deep water oil and gas production capabilities. In its press release, GE cited International Energy Agency forecasting that unconventional gas production will comprise some 35% of global supply by 2035, while unconventional oil production will make up 10%. Moving on, President Barack Obama on Monday will implore Congress to repeal any array of tax incentives the oil and gas industry has enjoyed for decades. Lawmakers have twice rejected the White House appeal to boost government coffers more than 30 billion US dollars over the next decade by axing the tax breaks amid fierce opposition from industry leaders and their congressional allies, who say the plan will curb domestic oil and natural gas production. Now, the plan faces more political resistance on Capitol Hill because Republicans who oppose the plan are in charge of the House of Representatives and there are more of them in the Senate. But oil industry leaders say they aren't letting their guard down, as the Star Committee climate, combined with the new budget cutting zeal in Congress, means anything could be on the table. That pretty sums it up for as of now. Thank you for watching.